You're in the middle of a medical malpractice trial, and now one of the jurors is walking down the hallway, and they see your attorney talking to the defense attorney, and they're smiling and chatting, looks like they're having a great time. But the juror gets the perception that the two of them are colluding together, and now the fix is in for you and your case. Is that going to have an effect on this particular juror? Is it going to affect the rest of the jury? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. And the answer is, it certainly might. Now, you should know that at the beginning of the trial, during jury selection, the attorneys will often know each other or they will have gotten to know each other. And as a matter of courtesy, they will shake each other's hands. Now, they are not going to be friends. They're not going to be friends in front of each other's clients. However, there are instances during the course of the trial, maybe during a break, where now, let's say, settlement negotiations are starting. And now the two attorneys get together and they're talking. And by chance, one of the jurors is walking down the hallway. And they see the two attorneys talking to each other. And they're smiling and they're laughing. Maybe they're telling jokes. Maybe they're good friends. Maybe they know somebody in their firm. And now they're asking questions about vacation. The problem is the juror who's walking down the hallway has no idea what they're talking about. All they know and all they perceive is that they are together. Now, at trial, you know that can never happen because each attorney is obligated to represent each of their individual clients to the best of their ability. And now the juror is going to be confused. What are they doing talking to each other? What are they doing patting each other on the back? How could this be? How is it possible? They are opponents. They can't be having a nice, pleasant conversation. The reality is that they could. They might be talking about something having nothing to do whatsoever with a trial. On the other hand, they might be trying to negotiate this case. And now the juror gets the mistaken perception that something inherently bad is going on when in fact they're trying to resolve the case. So now if one of these jurors see this and they go back and tell the other members of the jury about this, do you think that could poison or taint the entire jury? The answer is it certainly could. And it could have a distinct effect on the ultimate outcome if the case goes all the way to verdict. So why do I share this with you? I share it with you because perceptions are very important and what goes on in the courthouse is significant because this incident could happen. You know, I realize you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but haven't done so yet because you still have questions that need answers, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your questions. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.